I'm Cindy Shepard, a recycle and mixed media artist, and today I wanted to share with you how to make a junk journal out of paper bags and old envelopes. So this is how you get started. First you have a paper bag. You can have a double ply or just a single ply, but just cut it to any size or shape you want. Whatever size, if you want to go for the larger envelopes or the smaller envelopes. Uh, after I've cut it to shape and folded it to contain the envelopes, I will use tissue paper, a lot of times colored tissue paper, sometimes just white. It adds a little bit more durability to the cover, and it's, it's the non-bleeding tissue paper. And then I will put that on with a gel medium. I also use um, golden fluid acrylics after that, maybe a little bit of gesso and it really does give you a durable cover out of your paper bag. So we're going to get started on the envelopes. You can select any size. I like the ones with windows and I've got quite a collection. I've even got my husband collecting these for me, believe it or not. And you can just rip them over when you open when you receive the mail any way you want to. Sometimes I kind of like the rough edges. Then I will use the scissors to just cut real quickly to open it up where it's beginning, going to become a page in my junk journal. And since I like using the window envelopes, I usually stagger them so that if I have a window on this side, I like to put the other window on the other side. That way you can put really cool images behind each one and it, I just think it flows a lot better. After I've done this, uh, I'm going to put it in a book. You can either do something before with each page, like I wanted this one up, and then I just set my coffee cup on it a dozen times. And then on this one, I used some of the portfolio oil pastels. So these were completed before I did the signature for my book, but you can do it either way. Just use, um, I'm going to just draw a little bit here. Now with oil pastels, this particular type, you can add water to it, which I've done, or you can put them on dry and then rub them in and you get another really nice effect with it. These are really great before you put an image on or after your image, you can always add things to it. So I've got, um, I've got another pre-made little journal here that I did with paper bags and I've cut this one down a little bit and I've covered it. I've also done some markings on it. For the cover I use paint pens. Paint pens go really well over a glossy surface. And I've arranged the envelopes. This one I thought was really cool because it has my last name on it, the Shepherd family. That's the beginning of the book. And then I've just arranged them. If some of these were a little bit too large, a little bit too long, I cut them so that they would fit the book and you can also cut really nice edges on them, Any anything. This is, this is your junk journal. The sky is the limit. A lot of times I will also distress. I use the uh, distress ink or you can use chalk. So you can just come in here and just get a really nice effect. A lot of us that do um, distressed or recycled art, I like the look of the old. So anything like that is you can also just crumple up the page, and after you've undone it, if you've kind of smoothed it out, you can go back in. And that also gives you a really nice effect. So once I've got these, not all of these envelopes are the same size, and you can see I also like uh, kind of rough edges. Just rip that envelope open. So I'm going to kind of make sure that they're all centered because I'm going to punch um, punch holes in them for the signature. A really good thing to use for this is an old telephone book because that way you're not damaging a table and you're making sure that you get through the, the entire envelope and book cover. Now I've got about 10 envelopes here. Sometimes if you're doing more than that, if you want a thicker book, then you're going to need to do maybe 10 at a time or something. But because this is a junk journal, and I'm not good at measuring, I hate that kind of stuff, I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm going to put four holes. I'm going to put them relatively close together in the center because some of my envelopes, I want to make sure that, that they stay attached. So just with an awl, I'm just going to do two holes right here. 
And I'm going to come down and I'm going to say, that's probably a little off center, but who cares. Okay, I've got the four holes. Then I'm going to need a large eye needle and some type of um, thick twine, or this happens to be leather. I really like the black leather, so I'm going to just stick that through that first hole. Hold on to that. I just want one ply. So I'm going to come back up through here and bring it this way. So I'm going to shorten that up because now I'm going to cut it. Uh, cut it a little bit long so it's not so difficult to tie, but cut that off. And from here, I can just tie it in a knot. You know, if you wanted to, you could add um, charms. You could hang some charms from this wire so that you open it up. So there you go. I'm going to have to do, you know, you come back in here and you do the same thing with this side. So I can do anything that I want to on these pages. I really like the idea of a theme. And the theme that I used when I did the Stash and Smash book that this available with all kinds of journaling ideas and um, recycling ideas. I used on this particular page, this is done with uh, golden fluid acrylic. I put a little tab on there with just a piece of scrap paper. But all the images in this particular junk journal are from old 60s and 70s magazines. The words, I like to look at some of the words. This was a favorite page of mine because I've got grandkids and I just thought this was so cute. The television set of tomorrow. It's the old maple cabinet set. Who knew? This one is done with alcohol ink. So if you use alcohol ink on your windows, it gives a really stained glass effect. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But you can use anything with these. Portfolio crayons. Here's one where I just took old scrap paper. Let me show you how cool that is when you use alcohol ink on your, your windows. I've got three different types here. And just a little, little dab of do, you just squirt it on there. If it gets on your page, that's fine too. You might like for it to run a little bit. You could even use a, a brush of sorts with this. I also like to use alcohol ink where it bleeds together, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. If you want to take your brush, just kind of lightly dab it around. Blend the colors. You know, you might also try you know, just snapping it together like that. You've got just a light color left on your windows, but you've also got that transfer over there. Okay, well, I hope you get started doing your, your junk journal. And I wanted to point out to you that this is, um, this is my book that's got all kinds of different projects in it. I've got a few contributing artists that I was really proud to have in the book as well. This is using, this is a little small journal. You can put ticker tape in there or um, adding machine tape. This was done, the cover was done with an old toilet paper roll. Again, that idea of recycling, just a few stamps and a little bit of paint. Here's the junk journal. There's some other pages in here. How to do a 30 Days of Inspiration page. Steampunk from an old book cover. This is another one of my favorites here. This is using the old, I love sheet music and old papers, but they have a tendency to crumble. This is stiffening them so that they become durable. And I added it into a little journal and I used the Zutter binding machine for that. So there are several different ways of binding your art journals in here as well. Stash and smash. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.